Well, joining me now to discuss today's big announcements is Sarah Pennells, a personal finance expert from SavvyWoman.co.uk. We're also joined tonight by Jane Bass from Age UK Ladies. It's great to have you on the programme tonight. Um, Sarah, let's start with you. Lots for you to be looking at today, especially on the pension front. Just explain to me what a pension bond will be. Well, it's going to be a product from National Savings and Investments that will be available for anybody aged 65 and over to buy. And they will be able to invest up to £10,000 in this bond. Now, the good thing about it and the eye-catching thing from the Chancellor's point of view is that he indicated it would pay a rate of 2.8% if it was a one-year bond and 4% if it was a three-year bond. Well, at the moment, as anybody who's got savings will know, if you can get something like 1.7%, 1.8% on a cash ISA at the moment, you're doing incredibly well indeed. So I think this will, this will answer one very strong criticism from, from pensioners in particular, those who really rely on their savings to eke out their pension, not just because they want to have some money in the bank. And a big white rabbit would be the issue in terms of scrapping annuities. We're told this is a huge shake-up of the pension industry. So what's that going to mean? I mean, this is a massive announcement, and, and it's certainly, I mean, something that I wasn't expecting. It's going to happen in two stages. So initially, from next week, there'll be much more flexibility for people who've got small pension pots or those who already have decided not to buy an annuity but are taking money directly from their pension. So that will be an immediate help. And then longer term, there's, as you said, this incredible shake-up, which means, in George Osborne's words, nobody will have to buy an annuity. Well, that's bad news for pension companies that sell annuities, but it does mean much more choice. I think a problem for some people will be that annuities are hated. The one thing they do do, though, is they guarantee to pay an income for as long as you live. Right. So some people, I think, will still face some quite tough choices. OK, Jane, let's bring you in on this. I mean, you represent the older generation here in the UK. Are they happy? Will they be happy with this, do you think? Well, it is good news for savers who have suffered with very low interest rates. And it will also be good news for pension savers. But for people who are pensioners now, particularly those on very low incomes or without savings, there wasn't actually anything really in the budget for them. And in particular, we were disappointed that there was nothing about social care, which has really been starved of funds. So th those two areas missing for you. Uh, what do you think of the idea of not using an annuity, basically having the freedom to do what you want with the money that you've saved from the age of 65. Is that a bit risky, do you think? Well, I think the choice has to be welcomed, and we welcome it. As long as it's an informed choice, people will need to take responsibility. It's a really big shift. They'll need to think about their whole of their lives and, indeed, their partners' lives. OK, let's go back to Sarah and briefly talk about savings. We had, firstly, scrapping the 10p interest rate tax rate on savings and big changes to ISIS too. Are you welcoming these? Just explain to me what they are. Absolutely. I mean, there's two things that are really good news about the changes to ISIS. Firstly, the increase in the amount you can save, which will be rising to £15,000. Currently, it's around 11500 But also, no limit on the amount you can put in a cash ISA. And one rule that's going to change, which will be a big benefit, is that you'll be able to move money from stocks and shares to cash. At the moment, for some odd reason, you can only move it one way. A lot of people want to build up their investment, but then maybe when they want to take less risk, shift it back to cash again. So I think this will be really welcome. And indeed, is the scrapping of the 10p tax rate, because it will mean those who have a low income but have a bit of income from savings will be better off. OK, ladies, thank you very much for explaining that to me.